It All wouldn't right. be too much. Uh, right. It's just I do a really poor job of uh, between like after I take a stock, I'll corner myself because I'm trying to like get out of his range, right? Yep. So he just puts me in the corner, and then I'm you know in arguably a worse position than if I had just taken 60% combo. <laughs> what a what a life to lead in uh, in Fox Peach or er, uh, Peach Marth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the AR tag. Who's is that? I get. Yeah, I was about to say. I thought that was uh, Armada's tag. So not only doing it for n all the Norwegians at home, but carrying the flags and prides and hopes of all the Europeans everywhere, in order to try to channel their energy and take down Stango, our 17-week consecutive champion. I'm pretty sure. It's been a long time. It has been a long time. It has been too long. We are overdue for a usurping of the throne, even if it's for a mere seven days, one week. It's something that needs to happen. What will be interesting to watch will be not only the attendance, but also the level of play at the lab in the coming weeks. Most schools... As people leave to go to school and... Right. But those who stay and are able to come, unfortunately, Weedle, you will no longer see at these tournaments, and the same will probably go for yours truly, unless I come rather late. Because um, it's like the same distance, isn't it? Hmm? Isn't that like the same distance for you guys? It's roughly 50 minutes. Isn't that now? Huh? Isn't that 50 minutes now? Yes, but we both have classes on Tuesday. Uh, so, okay. and mine ends at 5, so I wouldn't make it for doubles. I might make it for singles. But I'd have to go straight through rush hour traffic. And Weedle's is later as well. Like, I think his ends at like 7. Oh, that is... Okay, that down tilt. Um, you know, Quetzalcoatl, he's a Peach developer. He was developing... Is that, was that what you call them? Peach developers? Uh, you know, R&D... There are very few of them anyway. <laughs> uh, but he has a lot of nice shield poke setups on Marth because shield, Marth's shield is pretty bad, honestly. Is that like his sponsor, Pe uh, Peach Developer? I'm a Peach. I'm a I'm a Peach Dev. <laughs> Ooh, clips him. Okay. But uh, oh, so back to what I was saying. Like the level of play with everyone going back to school and getting better. And the regular practice partners coming back. <laughs> Not again. A flashback from a week ago. <laughs> Find that gif somewhere in Philadelphia Melee, possibly on Reddit, of Stango's shield poke into I'm the best player here. <laughs> and uh, we're seeing it again. Ooh. Dipper. Oh, Weedle started so well. He even I took know. the first stock. That's how you always feel in this matchup. You're like, oh, I'm doing so well. And then like you just lose stock. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is something that, that also happens to you. It's like you do really well the first stock. <laughs> And then suddenly Stango's just like, <laughs> it's just oh, it's, it's just you. Oh, yeah. it's just you, Andrew. It's just little old An A Andy coming out to play. Here, let me, let me show you the ropes. Oh, let nice. me show you what the the I big leagues look like. <sighs> Down a full stock, but Marth with the capacity, as I say it, to build percentage rather quickly. One of the few characters that can do it. Uh, yeah, would have lost his float there. He uh, when when Marth is combo and Peach, listen to the sound effects because you can hear when. Uh, Peach loses options. I like you hear the float? Yeah. Is it like a twinkle? Just uh, actually, I look for the float. So. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, you look for the little particle. Effect. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was, I didn't, I didn't know you could. I didn't know you could listen for I the listen, float. I listen for double jump. Right. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Double jump is is an easy one to catch. <laughs> Clips him out of his foot. One eighteen. Uh, okay, Bad. this is where like, for for Peach, you gotta realize that Mars kill options are like random F smash. Side B up tilt and eh, you know maybe there, but like those are all three very different setups. And so like if you're just dash dancing a neutral, it's not bad to crouch mental, at, even at like 200%. Because of side B? Yeah, the side B. And if you uh, if they side B you, you can down tilt them and get like a sweet 60% combo or something. Okay. The down tilt is uh, pretty brutal, honestly, against. <laughs> Was that a phantom jab? Yes, the yeah, second jab. Yeah, it like it. Second jab was a phantom. Anyway, getting into game two. <laughs> Isn't it so weird to see people punish Peach down tilt after at the end? Like, cause like, whenever foxes do it, they're like, I'll down tilt right in neutral, and then they'll run in and I'll just jab. Them. And like, I, I feel like you shouldn't challenge the tilt. Really? He runs in and grabs. Uh, I think Marth's grab range is good enough, so if he runs yeah. in and crouches and grabs. I mean, I feel like Fox just has to drill it. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, well, much much like a Marth down tilt, but worse. You can just drill right over it. You see, uh, that turn oh! that turn there lost its hitbox. So it didn't hit, um, hit Stango out of the 
Why okay. did it lose his hitbox? Uh, it hits it, the stage. I was about to say, did it clip the stage? Yeah. I wasn't sure. Okay. Uh, runoff forward air. He's been getting a lot of mileage. He got a lot of mileage out of it on my set, in, uh, in his set against me, too. Yeah, it's just kind of a, something to harass Peach out there. Just kind of give her a swat. Reminder that you're still alive and you still have a sword. Kind of just checking the vital signs really quickly. But uh, Whittle's up. He's got All the right. stock lead. Oh! oh, okay. This is the deck there. All right. Boy, there's, it was very difficult to see coming. Not the fact that Stango was going to try to hit him, but the fact when Stango, the timing at which it was going to happen. And uh, between back air and that up B, like, it would have had to be a pretty hard prediction, despite the 20 frame window. Oh? Oh, uh, doesn't. Lost his double jump. The down air wasn't going to cover. Nice. Weedle in the corner, as always, Ow. Stango's favorite position. Ooh, okay. Pops him up, sends him out, gives him a tap, and sends him on his merry way. The magnificent spacing on the down tilt. Backs way, way up to get the very lowest hitbox and covers what might have been even a sweet spot. Ooh, nice cut there. That the oh. Three. Oh, smash you guys down? Maybe? Stango messed up? It Maybe? Looked, it looked like this. Like the STI down to me. It looked like Smash TI indeed. Okay. And he uh, flubs his ledge out, so we're. But two stocks apiece. But Weedle did start with the lead and is suddenly. <laughs> he no tries to uh, toad out of the combo, which uh, I don't usually recommend, but it, it's cool. Sometimes. Definitely. Toad, you definitely tag oh, in. No. Ooh. Okay. You definitely tag in Toad just to take the hits for you. You know, you just kind of have him there to, while you're like recovering. You're just in the back. You're drinking some water. Yeah, you know, the coach is wiping you down, and Toad's in there just getting beaten on. He's just taking it for you. He he knows it's yeah, royalty. He's a really bad bodyguard though. He doesn't. He only covers your front. He takes like an hour to like do anything. And then even then, if he misses, he's going to be, like, still well, out there for another 20 minutes. You got to think of the working conditions, man. You are paid to get hit, and you spend most of your life in God knows where. <laughs> yeah, she just pulls her out of the dress. Yeah, it's definitely, like, some interdimensional portal stuff. Who knows what kind of realm Toad is hanging out in. That's where she pulls all the turnips out of. You know, maybe, maybe Toad is in some special hell, because every time he comes out, he's so scared looking. <laughs> he's just so terrified, like he's seen some new, fresh... Well, he knows that whenever he gets pulled out, he's expecting to get hit in the face. Maybe he's just at home, you know? Maybe he's just at home with the kids, and then, like, you know, he says, Oh, maybe Daddy won't have to go to work today. <laughs> maybe I can finally get around to building he's that treehouse like for you, Timmy. black eyes and the <laughs> <laughs> bandages on. <laughs> they, they, Timmy, I, I, I might be able to get around to the treehouse today. He's like, No! No, she's calling me. <laughs> and then he's like struggling against the portal. Uh, game two going to Stango. Struggling against the pole of, of, of work and he just gets sucked in. He's just like, no, no, I have a family. <laughs> he, just, they, he keeps his family in a vegetable garden with just turnips and mushrooms. Do you, do you think that, uh, that, that it's actually Toad that's like passing Peach the turnips? Like he just kind of decides, oh, yeah. you know, like through that little interdimensional portal, he just kind of tosses them up. He's just like, oh, oh, we got a stitch face today. So like, does that mean he's like painting the faces on the turnips? Oh, I thought he was gonna go for down there again. Maybe. And this, the stitches are the ones that the kids mess up. Uh. <laughs> you know, they just, they just don't look that good. The wife does the dot eyes. Every once in a while, a child's toy gets mixed in. That's Mr. Saturn. What happened? What, why do they have bombs there though? Minefields, dude. Maybe, maybe Toad is secretly Vietnamese. We don't know. You know, one of the most frustrating things in this matchup is trying to air dodge and getting float instead. And then just, oh, okay. Can't not imagine Vietnamese Toad now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Why'd you gotta do that to me? <laughs> oh! Stango moving real crispy, real nice right now. Probably looking for another 3 0. Cool. I believe this week is another rendition of I'm good, so let me not drop a game the whole tournament. Nino, very close. Weedle close last game. At least going into the last stock. Oh, since let me hold this turn up. Z drop. Shenanigans. Working on the four stock. Oh! Damn. Oh! That was brutal. 70%. <laughs> oh my God. One stock away. Stango working with all four of his. We have likely crowned our champion for another Smash the Lab Tuesday. I feel Weedle. less bad about getting demolished by Stango if this happens. Weedle not out of it yet. Can still, oh, you, oh. get, you know, he just didn't want to get four stocks. So he went for that front. He would have died. Of course. Uh, this stage, like, you can't actually side be back up. Yeah. 
Oh, he yep. gets one. Wait, does he? Okay. Do it for the people. Do it for yourself. Captain Norway not going silently back to his dwelling place. No, JV, but the freshman still available. But the Europeans go to high school in a different year, so maybe freshman is a different term for them. It might be 20%. Who knows? I think it depends on the country, but they say, like, uh, in French, it's cycle. Uh, oh! Or cycle, I guess. Toad recovery. <laughs> oh, 27! Okay, you know what? He 41, went, he did it! He wins the style game. I don't know, man. Stangle did you land know, a charged you know what, that, F-Smash. That, that, that combo, the, the uh, let's take the third stock, I believe, was... I, th I think the charge F smash read oh, no. oh, goes for it again. Toad, oh, you know, gosh. shout out to Stango sparing Toad that fresh hell <laughs> that was right in front of him. Sucked out of the portal and into. Imagine. You know what? No, he still, Toad sword. still took the, the hit. Really? He's he just didn't counter there. it? No, yeah. He's like, he, he's oh, rebelling. Now. This is a, he's on strike. After that. Oh, all like, right. Stop, I got you. Stop the abuse. I'm letting yeah, you Yeah, yeah. He says, I will no longer take these hits for you. If I get hit, I will not help you out. These poor working You're conditions. Going down with me. <laughs> these, these poor working conditions finally led Toad to a breaking point. Death by overwork. And here we are looking at a winner screen yet again with Marth can Triumphant. Imagine, can you imagine Toad's like thought process? Like, oh my God, he's charging a purple sword in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> no. So yeah, I mean, if you're under those poor working conditions, I would. <laughs> yeah, no, like you, there's Screw you got to do something, dude. like uh, s like hunger strike something. Just don't show up. <laughs> anyway, three zero in grand final. Stango from winner's side as always. And almost a four stock. And almost a four stock. Smash.gg slash salt forty six for tonight's bracket featuring Nino Brog, Stango, Weedle, Metal people. Reaper, Ozzy, yourself, me. Oh, am I featured? Now? All in there. No. <laughs> I'm not featured. Oh, okay. The only time I'll get day. featured is for casting. One day. Hopefully. One, one yeah. day when, when my fox hits hits that, that mango level where I'm just like doing all these shine nares, the tech's all there, I'm off stage, I'm out there just just fucking people up, man. It's 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 getting there. It really is. But enough about me. Not sure if we're doing a winner's interview. If we're not, drop us a follow here on this Twitch channel. A subscription if you are into that sort of stuff. Five dollars a month, you get a pretty nice Stango emote, a Bros Calamity emote. You support what's going on here. Now, five dollars is not a lot. You pay that five dollars for a bracket, a venue $5 fee. Five dollars for like a sandwich at McDonald's. You, you bring you bring a TV, you'll get that back. Five dollars is not a lot. Even you know you don't have to do it every month. What whatever comes in helps. Follow us on Twitter, uh, both the venue at the Gaming Lab and at Bros Calamity, Bros underscore Calamity. Uh, if you like what you saw here, Stango, a triumphant Marth winning screen here, find him in a couple days' time at Shine 2016. I'm not gonna lie, I hate the Marth winning screens. I hate it too. Yeah. But if you like what you saw in-game, Shine 2016, Stango will be there. BMC, the blonde bombshell from <laughs> Delaware, will be there. Weedle also will be in attendance. The Philly versus Boston? Crew battle will be taking place, possibly streamed, definitely going to destroy it. All right, going to be streamed. Uh, the Philly team, really only with one member really from Philly, but we won't mention it. Lead them the flag bearer. Do you want an interview or are we out of here? All right. Gonna, yeah, just look straight into the camera. What you gotta say? Stango. Fuck Boston. That's what he's gonna do to you guys. This crew battle. He's gonna obliterate you. Drops the mic. Actually, <laughs> just hands it back to me. But drops you it heard it here hands. first. Oh, 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 wait. He's back. He's back. Oh, oh now he drops it. <laughs> All right. So that will do it for tonight. A pleasure casting. A pleasure playing. A good time. We will see you here in one week for Salt 47. Uh, if you're into Wii U, there's all sorts of stuff. Friday, uh, Thursday night, fighting games, all sorts of things, all here at yeah, the they, lab. They run other fighter tournaments. They run uh, Street Fighter Five, right? Pokemon. Yes, uh, there, there are the night of the. That's Thursday, I believe. Thursday. And uh, Friday is We Bear Bears. There's the monthly here, Brotherly Love. But if you want to find that stuff, Facebook, Twitter, it's all there. That will do it for us tonight. 
I'm Mark Two. I'm Control at Speed. Dumb tag. Wow. <laughs> no, I, I'm sorry. I won't end. I won't end on that. You can. Oh no, he's tilted. <laughs> he's tilted. I'm sorry. At least, at least you have the. Win. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Uh, that'll that'll do it for us tonight. Everyone, have a good one. Take it easy, and we'll see you on the battlefield.